Are you trying to compare the Woodlands High School and the Woodlands College Park High School? Well, in today's video, we're going to be doing just that. Hi y'all, my name is Jordan Schlacey, broker owner of Joe & Co. And here at Joe & Co, our goal isn't just to be your realtor, it's to be your resource. So today we're going to head over to one of those amazing resources, our blog and website, Joe & Co. And I am going to reference the blog post, the Woodlands High School versus the Woodlands College Park High School. So you probably are looking at the website right now because I'm gonna pull it up on the screen. And I'm going to first talk about the similarities and then I'm gonna talk about the differences. So both of these schools are A-rated, well-funded in the top 200 of the state and also recipients of designations. Both schools are below 20% for percentage of economically disadvantaged. So obviously, here are some similarities, but they are going to have some slight differences. So the Woodlands High School has a student ratio of 18.1 and College Park has a ratio of 17.4. So technically College Park is better on that specific parameter. The number of students, so this can be a plus or a minus for you. The Woodlands High School has over 4,300 students and College Park has over 3,200 students. Now, if you're looking at the school digger ranking, technically the Woodlands High School is better and at 53rd in the state. And then College Park is 154th in the state per pupil expenditure. So how much money is each school getting or spending on each student? So the Woodlands High School spends about $7,900 per student, but College Park spends almost a little over $8,200 per student. So that's technically better. The feeder schools are here listed, McCullough and Mitchell, Collins, I think that's a typo, <laughs> Knox Junior High and Wilkerson Intermediate. Now, if we look at the statewide performance, so this is going to be school testing, 97 point, or no, down below. So statewide performance, the Woodlands has 97.2% and the College Park High School has 91.7. Now, if you compare their test score averages, like standardized test score averages with the rest of, I don't know if it's the state or the nation, uh, it's probably the nation, 89% are better. The average test score, sorry, is 89.93% for the Woodlands High School and College Park is 82.39. So testing scores are technically better at the Woodlands High School. They're both A rated by the TEA, the Texas Education Agency, but they have different designations. So the Woodlands High School has reading, math, social studies, and post-secondary. The only one they both share is math. So College Park has science, math, and comparative closing the gaps. Percentage of economically disadvantaged is very low at the Woodlands High School, it's 7%. So it's definitely pulling from a more affluent area than College Park at 19%. Limited English proficiency, so low on both schools. The Woodlands High School is 3%, College Park is a little over 5%. Now, if we're looking at the special programs they offer, the Woodlands High School has Air Force Junior ROTC, and they are nationally recognized the robotics team is nationally recognized. They have a highly regarded science national honor roll society. They have DECA, HOSA, and so much more. So I'm going to show you that link. But then College Park has the Academy. I'm gonna have to delete that, y'all. <laughs> the we had windows up here. I didn't realize we're open. The Academy of Science and Technology, Marine Corps ROTC or Junior ROTC, the school paper. I believe they both have school papers, but I'm gonna link. So on the the Woodlands High School's website is a lot better than College Park's website. So I'm going to show you the clubs and activities for this is a Woodlands High School. And you're gonna see a lot of similarities between the two schools. But here on the Woodlands High School, you have website, you have everything listed. So whether it's curricular or extracurricular or sports or non-curricular clubs. So I think there's even bass fishing. So tons of options at call at the Woodlands High School. I feel like they have more options even though they both say 120 than um, the College Park. So it's a little bit easier to digest the other school's website. 
Well, that's not super helpful. And then athletics. It just talks about the, oh, there we go. So they have a lot of the same sports. They're both well known for baseball and football. Both have really good programs for band and orchestra. Now, I liked this pathway option at College Park. So this diagram is a lot easier, in my opinion, to digest. So you can have an agricultural pathway, architecture, arts and AV technology, communications, business marketing and finance, education and training pathway, health sciences, hospitality and tourism pathway, human services, information technology pathway, law enforcement course offerings that are new for 2020, STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math, transportation and logistics. So this is the Woodlands High School. Because both are the same school district, I assume that College Park has something very similar. But I, when I went to go look for that information, I struggled. So I'll show you what website I was able to pull up. So you can see your course selections for a ninth grader. Um, there's college and career information. I just didn't find it as easy to navigate as the Woodlands High School, but I would make the assumption that or College Park is very similar to what they have at the Woodlands. Um, I was trying to see if they talked about the pathways on this ninth grade. So it does look like they have a lot of similarities fashion design, graphic design, animation, business and marketing, robotics, STEM. So hopefully they do have very similar programs. It's just not as easy to navigate. But both schools are nationally recognized. They're both amazing schools and I would definitely recommend either one. If we had to pretend one was better than the other, I guess we would have to go with the Woodlands High School because their test score are higher but you have smaller classroom sizes at College Park and the school as a whole is smaller so I it's really hard to compare them but I still think that technically most would say the Woodlands High School is better but I think you cannot go wrong with either school they're both a really good option so I talked about the Woodlands High School having over 130 electives and College Park was identical. So two really amazing schools here north or here in the Woodlands. So again, my name is Jordan Schlacey, broker owner of Joe & Co. And here at Joe & Co, our goal is to be your resource. So if you look down below, you will see a whole bunch of links that I wanted to share with you. So I definitely recommend checking those out. In a second, you're gonna see a couple videos pop up here next to my head. So please give those a watch. I hope y'all have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.